A thimble splice is a great way to form a loop in the end of a line that's going to be subject to chafe and wear. One such is the connection between an anchor road and an anchor chain. To form a splice we need a few tools. Obviously I've got the line itself, a thimble which is the same diameter and is actually marked as the same diameter as the line, and we, in this case it's half an inch, some electrical tape, some whipping twine, a fid or a spike and a pair of sharp scissors. I'm using nylon line because it's got some stretch in it and this is going to be for an anchor road. So the first thing I do is I take my thimble and I roughly measure five times the length down the rope. So it's one, two, three, four, five. At that point, to stop it unravelling when I do this splice, I'm going to use some waxed whipping twine. Just wrap it around a couple of times like so, and then tie it tightly. You can use, some people like to use plastic tape or masking tape. I like whipping twine because you can actually leave it in place and it doesn't affect the appearance of the splice at all. So just tie that off, like so. Let me just snip the ends off. So I've got to prep the ends of the line ready to make the splice. I've just bought this and you'll notice they've put a bit of tape on there just to hold it together. So first things first is we'll cut that off. Sometimes you'll find that it's melted, they melt the ends. If they melt the ends, you'll need to cut that off because it's a hard lump. But we just pull this tape off and you'll notice that the rope already wants to come unraveled. So to keep all that together, I've pre-cut three pieces of plastic electrical tape. So I'm going to take each one in turn and wrap that around. Keeps everything neat and it means that as I form the splice these are easy to poke through the rope. So I put the thimble into the line. You can see that it fits nice and snugly in there and you'll see that the whipping twine is right here. So what I'm going to do now is just unravel this line all the way back up to that whipping twine. This is the uppermost strand here and I'm going to take this uppermost strand and I'm going to go underneath the uppermost strand on the other side of the line adjacent to the thimble. So it's this one here is going to go under this one here. You can see a little red and yellow tracer in there and that's handy. So I'm going to go ahead and get the first tuck in there. So this is fairly soft line. You should be able to do this with your fingers. The, if you have difficulty or the rope's stiff or you've got not very strong fingers, then you can open it up with the fid that I showed you earlier. So let's get the first tuck in there. I take the next strand here, do the same thing. I open that up with my fingers and put second tuck through on the second strand. Let's pull that through. Next thing is to flip the thimble over and this is my last line now and you can see there's one here on the standing part. That's going to go over there and under this strand here. So. Just like braiding hair, I guess. So I've done now four complete tucks or under and over. So there's one, two, three, four, and we're going to do the last one now. Five. That's enough. Uh, so here's it's going under that one. So it's going to go over this one here, and then under this one. So we'll just pull that up and keep it pulled up as you go. So we want to keep it nice and neat. That's one. So then we've got this strand here, over this one, under this one. Open that up, tuck it through. And I think now you can see that having the plastic tape on the end here makes it easier because it keeps everything together. That's two, last one. So we're going to go over this one, under this one.
So now I've done that, I'm just going to smooth that down with my hand, make sure it's all nice and neat, pull it all up tight. There we go. And I've got these three strands now. And all I'm going to do now is just cut these off. Now you'll notice that I've finished the splice and I've got three ends here which I've just trimmed off. You'll notice that they're a little longer than they need to be. You could trim them right back tight but then there's a chance that they're going to slip back through. So I like to leave them a little long. You can just leave it like that, that will be perfectly fine. Or some people just like to scorch it a little bit with a match or a lighter just to melt this back in. Um, this is, for, as I said, for an anchor. I'm just going to leave it like that, it's perfectly fine. So there we have it, nice neat finished splice.